Hey, Meg, no turkey dinner is complete without a little undernut squash. <laughs> what a jerk! Oh, no, I left my phone in the car. Oh, weird. I forgot mine, too. Should I run back and grab them? Ah, we don't need them. No, we do not. I, for one, welcome the lost art of conversation, of which we are both ninjas, my friend. Absolutely. Oh, it's Master. Here, Master. Master may change the TV to a channel that pleases her. Uh, what's going on? Master's latest social media post has become popular on the internet, so now Master rules the family. What are you talking about? Oh my god! This cupcake video got 20,000 likes! Only likes matter. Likes rule all. Breaking news! I can't believe this! I have a Samsung, so my alert hasn't come in yet. It's nice not being glued to our phones like these sheeple, huh? There it is! Oh my god! Slaves to the screen. So you and me got some of the same DNA on account of your mom sold off her inside parts? Dude, that's bizarre! Hmm, quite. Yeah, my mom didn't like how I came out, so she left me in an orphanage, but nobody's adopted me, so screw that. Got out of there, moved under the Fenway stands. I survive on racist bleacher farts. All right, now if you're gonna be filling in for me, you need to complete the online course. Congratulations on being picked to fill in for me while I have a horse around day. Now let's talk do's and don'ts around the workplace. Okay, let's see what you've learned. Describe the difference between a tunic and a shawl in as much detail as possible. Ugh. Every year, there's some hot shot who thinks they don't gotta watch the video. Meg, oh my god, it's crazy here. Dad fell off the pole and landed on his head, and one of his eyes popped out. We picked it up and jammed it back in, but the pupil was on the other side. I'm okay, just got a little headache. Also, Dad gave me a hard lemonade. He's pretty out of it. Stewie! Tell mommy that daddy fell! Quickly! For Camera's rolling. You can go when you're ready. Welcome, fans-only subscribers. My dad fell in the shower, so we kinda need the money. <laughs> Thank you. Wow! That was great! How was that for you? It was amazing. We just created art in front of our fans. Total shocker. Chris and Dad are having a very fun day. They're not the only ones, huh? Oh, I also need to return this loofah. I mean, who was I kidding? I'm a dial bar smeared right on the skin, gal. Of course. Let me show you to the return section. <laughs> the prestige. I wonder if this is how French pointillist painter George Seurat felt. Oh! Yeah! Oh! No way! Orange! Orange, you guys! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! What are you doing? Um, eating a sandwich? Brian Griffin, I ordered ramen for us. We planned this last night. We did? I don't, I don't remember. You were too drunk to remember? I've been dying to try this place, and you said we could do it together. Stewie, it's not... Uh, ramen for Stewie and Brian? Apparently, it's just for Stewie. Everything okay? No, it's not. <laughs> what did I miss? Were the dots tiny? Oh my god, so tiny. No way, you got crazy straws? Wait, no, 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 those are the fat man's. He likes to pretend his juice is on a roller coaster. I don't care, I'm using one. All right, Capri Suns, who's ready to ride Thunder Mountain? Stewie, what the hell are you doing? You know the crazy straws are only for daddy. Up yours, old man. That's it. I give you the belt, but I wore a 1990s braided belt today. What do you want me to do? If you're really asking, I saw a therapist on the Today Show talking about the emergence of friendship therapy. I think it could help us. Nope. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Oh, Brian, this is great. It'll give us the fresh start we need, like when Tom Brady moved to Tampa Bay. All right. Now I get to cheat in shorts. I'm Peyton Manning, and I approve this message. Yeah? How about I give you the belt? Ah! Ah! 
Yeah. yeah. You heard it. Take that. Ah, I'll break ah, out of any straw I want, you piece of crap. You hear me? I need that belt. I'm taking my LinkedIn photo later. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how I reload my purse with mom's stuff. It's very important to always be prepared. Didn't ask. Travel size lotion, hand sanitizer, tic tac, so I can skip brushing my teeth. Dog, you still got a brush. Oh, and Mom Hack 68, buy the $2 plastic rain bonnet. They're made at the same factory that makes the $9 ones. Don't ask me how I know. Good day. Good day. Good day. It was them in the $9 rain bonnets. Told you these look like the expensive ones. Well, isn't that a surprise? Like the Japanese attack on David Harbour. Hi, Kenji Mifune, Tokyo Daily. Why do you always look like you just woke up in a dumpster? Lois, I'd like to request a later bedtime, please. I'm a big boy now, and I think I can make it to 6.45. Go away, Stewie. Mommy's looking at real estate listings and dreaming of any life other than this. I see. All right, then. Your new bedtime is whenever you want. Oh my god, Meg! I won! You're kidding! Mom, this is amazing! Ah, I know, I can't believe it! It's even more exciting than the creation of broccolini! What is this new plant? Let me ask you a question. Do you like broccoli? Not really. Well, I think I just figured out a way to make it harder to eat. Um, class, I, I know teacher Jeremy said everyone would get a turn as classroom star of the week, but new plan, uh, Stewie will now be star of the week every week. Also, instead of circle time, we're just going to watch TV dramas where Dennis Leary plays a fireman. That's a pretty smart cookie, that teacher Jeremy. But right now, we're going to do show and tell. Who wants to go for Stewie? Uh, let's do Stewie. This is so cool! What did you tell Dad? Oh, pfft. he won't even know we're gone. I got him his favorite babysitter. Lois says we're allowed to stay up past nine. The note says nine. Not if it's special, and we're allowed to watch Beetlejuice. The note specifically says no Beetlejuice. I'm allowed to watch Coco, and it's basically the same thing. That's Smush Boy 15. He's gross. He'll sit on anything. He's a sit slut. He's also really good at hearing the whispers of nearby diners. Excuse me, Smush Boy? I I'm wondering if you could come over and sit on my wife's avocado. Come on, man. I'm out with my family. You Hollywood celebrities! Sheesh! Don't meet your heroes, huh? I'm Dr. Wagner. Please take a seat. This is a test, right? You're free to sit anywhere you like. Yeah? This right? There's no right or wrong. You know what, guys? If you can't start sorting these things out, I, I don't see how we can even do Summer Fridays anymore. Oh, now you're paying attention. Chris, you can't talk to people like that. Oh, fine, then. Maybe I'll talk like this. Everyone, I quit! Come along, multiple exotic pets symbolizing my spiritual corruption. <laughs> ah, you lost. You sat too quick. Are you uncomfortable that Brian had the confidence to choose a seat? Yes, Brian won, Stewie zero. Actually, Brian, this isn't a contest. Yes, one to one. Stewie, please sit. I may just stand. Oh, indecisive, two to one. Doc's going pen to pad, and you gotta think Stewie just evened up the score. Parents love reading ABC books with their little ones, so let's practice that, shall we? A, S, swipe. Okay, close, close. How about this one? B. Bastard. We are O for two. Yeah, I'm gonna skip C. Feel like I know what you're gonna say for that. D, F, and I know you're gonna go for that F, not the usual F. Yeah, I'm not sure this is gonna work. I feel like you are making up rules to- Oh, Stewie's got the iPad. Stewie, Daddy's just gonna take the iPad into the bathroom, okay? He took my Etch-a-Sketch. Siri, show me Busty Latinas. Busty Latinas. Hey, can somebody reset the Wi-Fi? Dad, thanks again for filling in after Chris got all big-headed and quit. I'm excited to start shooting these videos with you. Yeah, um, about the videos, I couldn't help but notice you've got me squatting on generic Jell-O, not the name brand. 
Does it make a difference? <laughs> does, does it make a difference? You're, you're adorable. You're like two hours late, Dad. I'm sorry, Meg, but as an artist, I simply cannot create until you have finished dry cleaning all of my Halloween costumes. I tried, but they couldn't get the stain out of your Emperor Palpatine robe. Take it someplace else. Take it every place else! <sighs> hey, Gavin. Yeah, it's Dad. Well, the court says I get two guaranteed calls a week, so I'm calling. <laughs> Can you please tell your mother to get off the extension? No, uh, in-person visits have to be supervised, but the calls do not have to be supervised, so she can get off the phone now. Daddy knows what Mommy's breathing sounds like, bud. Get off the phone, Janet! Hey, call out any Boston Market sides. It's Friday, and we're gorging. Okay, look sharp. These people may be your last chance. Just do everything the way we rehearsed it. Hey, little man, how are you? I am fine, and in good physical health. Aww, what kind of toys do you like, sweetie? Um, you, you know, a doll, because that's okay for a boy, I'm told. But, you know, any, any toy's fine. An outside ball for throwing inside, I mean, you know, whatever you got. So sweet. So, how long we thinking until Stewie makes this whole event about him? <laughs> Ten minutes? <laughs> Should we put a little cashish on it? I just asked you to pass the butter. I don't know who Stewie is. Now, do yourself a favor. Keep it that way. I think we're supposed to sit at the tables we were assigned. Yeah, no, they said I could kind of be a roamer. Hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? When I grow up, I want to be a body cam off police officer. I, I, I mean, just a regular police officer. <laughs> smells like butt. Let me guess, Brian was just here? Who's Brian? I think that's the dog guy. I thought this table was just supposed to be Cornell people. How would you like us to adopt you so that you can come live with us and be a Jets fan? Not a Pats fan, because we are a Jets family. Oh, how was he? Fine, but let's just say there's the exact same number of carrots as when you left. Well, that sounds about right. He also said you said yogurt-covered pretzels are a healthy snack. <sighs> You did say that! Compared to Cheetos, they are! You just said it again! Have a great life with your seven moms! Well, one of them will be my mom. Six of them will be my girlfriend. <laughs> the dude's a legend. I... I don't get it. You thought this was gonna be the flea circus from Coraline, didn't you? I'm cursed with optimism. Ah, sweet! Harold Goldfarb, jetpack lawyer, is on. Your Honor, may I approach the bench? Is this so you can use your jetpack? Yes. I'll allow it. That's the very potato I used in medical school to learn anatomy. I could let it go for 600. What are we thinking, Lois? Yes? No, we don't have that kind of money. Fine, I'll buy it with my magic beans. Those are Skittles. There's no room in this world for dreamers anymore. I wish I had a jetpack. My life would be better. Ooh, 360. Oh, wait, 180. Very good. Now, let's get your height. All right, so you're 7'6", 180 with colorectal cancer. I'm tall? Everything okay, Dad? <sighs> Just adult stuff, buddy. Mom wouldn't let me buy a toy I wanted. I have to say, I'm weirdly impressed. Yes, who would have thought a strange little guy like me could get super into tiny details of old furniture? Well, if you need any help, I'm in. All right. Is that... Yes, most antiques are just racist old packaging from iconic companies. Well, mostly syrup companies. Wow, that's very racist. Yep, whole blurry shelf racist. I'm sorry, it's just... I took a shower once. I was so young. When they put me in the tub, I figured it was just to rub my tummy. What a fool I was. They stripped me down like an animal. And that's when things got real. I'm Mr. Kiki, the swim teacher who doesn't have a pool and drives very far to other people's pools for lessons. After this lesson, I sit at Panera Bread until traffic dies down. Panera Bread, where swim teachers from other towns wait out traffic. At first, Peter tried to bathe me from the side, but then he realized it'd be easier if he got in. When it was over, they just wiped me down with an old beach towel and threw me in the yard. Where did you get all this money? It was easy. I took out a reverse mortgage, which is that thing where your house gives you free money. I didn't get a parade. 
Hell, I didn't even get a chew toy. Thank you for your shower. I can't believe you took me to a retirement community. Come on, it's not so bad. There's canaster and pickleball, plus the world's softest toilet seats. Uh, I can't poop now because I'm afraid of heights. Oh, here we go. All right, now I'm getting confidence. That's fine, I'll go it alone. Just like Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Sir, your millions from Netflix for no one knows what. Put it with the rest of them. Babe, time to do our daily $250,000 sponsored Instagram post for Del Taco. I shouldn't have left the made-up nonsense. You have a good eye. I just sold a piece by the same artist for 40. Lie. That's a little out of my budget. Well, I'd like 30, but I'd take 25. The lowest I could let it go for is 20. Would you take 11? Well, the frame alone is worth 30. Highest I can do is 12. Okay, but you've got to pay me before my wife gets back from the bathroom. She's going to kill me over this price. You won't be disappointed. Remember, you didn't think you'd like it when I had big giant traps either. Hey, babe, did you wash my singlet? I got a tournament up in Great Neck. Peter, I can't wash your singlet and make you a hundred egg whites. Hey, Dad. <laughs> oh, left yourself open to a near side cradle. I am not a part of this. Well, then tap out. I tap out. No tap outs. You ever been with a man who knows the price of milk in 1942? <laughs> can't say that I have. It was a nickel. That was the price of everything then. A suit was a nickel. A house was a nickel. A dime was a nickel. Hemorrhoid donut for the lady? A girl could get used to this. Oh, how much for this? You're gonna hate me. So everything you see here is for sale, except that. I don't even know how it got out here. It's supposed to be in the van. Well, I really like it. Brian, what did you do? Oh boy, that was a blunder on my part. That's a, that's a, that's a pretty big blunder. But look how much she loves it. Do you love it? I do. Now, who wants to see me bite into an apple with my own teeth? It's suicide! I miss the moon landing. I ain't missing this. Oh, ah! Use out of your league. That's what's happening here. You hearing footsteps, Gramps? How's about a little contest? Whoever sells the most by end of day tomorrow is the flea market champ. The loser gets out of the game for good. Fine, you're on. And by the way, there was a dead cricket in the teapot you sold me. Oh, no. I know. Could you reach that cigar box full of dominoes? My grandchildren are coming, and I want them to do something fun. Oh, such a strong boy. Here, have a chicken stick. You carry candy in your pocket? Of course. All old ladies are 70% pocket candy. <laughs> Wait, only one guy would accept delivery of so many Hawaiian shirts. What is it, boy? Man, I love being paid for reverse mortgages in Hawaiian shirts. Worthers? Butterscotch? That weird strawberry candy with the goo inside? You guys are like walking pinatas. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to be touched. <sighs> oh, this is just great. I'm going to die in here and I'll never take a shower. Maybe you won't, but we will. Really? Thanks, Bry. The poop was in there when I got in. I'd be much obliged if you'd go ahead and open up for me. How did you do that? Well, this ain't the first leg to which I've pitched woo. Being the youngest, healthiest people here sure has its perks. It's like everyone wants a piece of us. Before we harvest the organs of these two young meat bags, we need to decide who gets what. So if you want a body part, call dibs now. Oh, Brian, look. It's this antique's last day selling antiques. You alls can eat my dust. <laughs> <coughs> oh, we got quite a showdown here today at Flea Market Regionals, Jim. Grandma's Little Loft has the experience, but don't count out the Brian, the Bitch, and the Wardrobe. Yeah, I'll take the udders and the hooves. What? That's not a cow. 
That's a guy? But I saw him eating grass earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're donating the brain to science. No one take the brain. And the question we've been hearing the most today, why does a flea market have announcers? Well, sometimes major network announcers have one too many at a golf tournament and hit a guy in their car and then have to work their way back. Morning, Peter. I brought you some calcium-rich milk. It'll make your bones strong so I can swim again. Thanks, Art. Don't thank me. The cow did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to open a storage container fresh from Tempe. Come on by. What? How is that possible? And in crunch time, the game just slows down for a veteran booth like Grandma's Little Loft. A large Native American-looking teen has grumpily plopped down on a camp chair with an iPad at Bruce's booth. Lois, would you be a dear and lift this fruitcake that's the same weight as my grandson? Um, sure. Full range of motion, firm grip. This could be the nail in the coffin as other booths have started shaking their misprescribed opiates in salute. They call that the battle rattle, and it's the ultimate flea market show of respect. This one's all but over. Time for your breakfast eye exam. Which line can you read? Ah, uh, well, I can read Gledjeb. That's not a word. It's just random letters in a row. Really? I thought it was Dutch. Hey, they said my name! Don't be so self-centered. They could mean glad Jeb Opal Dark. And of course, the old guy who last minute decides he wants to keep his stuff has never really been a factor. For him, it's more about telling people where he got the stuff. <gasps> oh my god! Ah, oh, well, that's not so bad. Hard to misinterpret that. Hold the phone. Looks like we got a guy bringing his home trash to the flea market garbage can. And this is where the lone garbage can being right by Grandma's Little Loft could come into play. Sure looks like a bag of mostly full diapers and half-eaten burritos. And that's just a bee's dream bag. Hey, we just wanted to say you won. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you like a fish and scoop out your insides right after I parallel park. Peter, come on! Sorry, Lois. As a man, I'm required to watch other men parallel park. Peter, he wants to kill us! Let's go! And once that money belt is zipped, it's official! The Brian, the Bitch, and the Wardrobe win Flea Market Regionals. What a comeback! Boy, you said it. I told ESPN I'd quit after a Magic the Gathering tournament, but this time, I'm serious. You gotta cut the wheel. I am cutting the wheel. Now the other way. This is the other way, jerk. Go left, cut left. Hold back, cut left. Now I'm involved. Right. Hey, before I go, would y'all be willing to sell your whole inventory for $9? Would you do 11? No. You got yourself a deal. I never want to come back here. Everyone, you're all within 500 feet of a school. <laughs> Over 200 arrests were made that day. It's still known in flea market lore as Extinction Sunday. I'm Chris Griffin, and my brother and my dog left me in a very hot car. Oh, they shrunk the spaces so they could make more money. <laughs> Sir, this is a standard space on a public street. Nobody's making money here. Hi, Shannon, the line producer, said I could have another plate of lasagna. That's not Shannon's call. This ought to take care of it. And hey... Just to make sure we're good, how'd you like a line on the show? Blue Bloods. It might not be just saying the show. I understand. Tom, would it be possible for me to get another plate of lasagna? That's not my call, Peter. That's Shannon's call. It's not Shannon's call! Man, this place is crazy. Can you believe Joe was in the dark about all this? Did you get the legs? Damn it! <sighs> no, no, no. It's fine. I'll see if I can get Cleveland to go down there next week. Follow that car. First time in a big city? Blue Bloods. That last line was improvised. Oh, uh, look out, Ryan Stiles, huh? <laughs> oh, you know, I'm just glad we don't have to worry about losing our house anymore. Me too. I guess I learned celebrities always do the right thing once you publicly guilt them into it. Hey! 
Hey, bud, how was Florida? What? No, no, I got, I got you an awesome gift. But you can't see it until tonight. Tonight? Why tonight? Oh, you'll see. Tonight is going to be amazing. You're going to smile bigger than I did when I was on the cover of Mad Magazine. <laughs> you kids don't remember Mad or magazines. Fortunately, I'm on broadcast television. What, me worry? Okay, me worried. I like the blue truck. Thanks. It was supposed to be a fire engine, but I couldn't find the red glitter pen. Well, that's our long-form tax return done. I could be wrong, but I think we're getting a million dollars back. Brian, quick, check out your 6 o'clock or, or your 9 o'clock. I can't tell time. A perfectly good mini-fridge. Well, you're going to have to fight Danny DeVito for it. Would you look at that? A perfectly good normal-sized fridge. You know what? If this works, I'm going to put it in my room. This is going to be fun, Stewie. Yeah, I'm pumped. Partying's in our blood. We even had ancestors at the Boston Tea Party. All right, let's stick it to the British and throw this tea overboard. How about this Earl Grey? Okay, you know what? Let's keep the Earl Grey. We, we all have to have breakfast, right? Think whatever you want, Brian, but I'm taking this before Danny DeVito gets it. That's all right, kid. I don't need it anymore. Danny DeVito got bit by a magic mosquito. Danny DeVito and the magic mosquito now streaming on Peacock. I'm hearing a lot of buzz. Here goes the chamomile. No, 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 you throw that out, you're throwing my good night's sleep away. How about this throat coat with echinacea? Okay, you guys are gonna hate me, but we're coming up on cold and flu season, and I just think that would be irresponsible. Well, what about- You know what, let's just boil some water and write him a strongly worded letter. There he is, here comes the groom. Jeez, even you guys know it's my anniversary? How is that possible? It's easy, I follow your wife. You mean on Instagram? Are you here for shoes? Yeah, but I'm not sure what size I am. The sizing line's right over there. Just put your bare foot on my stomach and I can tell you your shoe size. I don't know. Next! A little higher? I don't know. Next! That'll do, pig. That'll do. Check it out, Rupert. Juice box, boom! go -Guts, yep! And most importantly, for freshness, an open box of Army Hammer's baking powder. Now with 40% more fingers. Pretty much all he had to do was not eat people. Huh. Convenient, I guess. Can's not so cold, though. Yeah, everything in there is either lukewarm or frozen solid. Dang, no more sush for Meg for nine whole months. That's honestly what you're taking away from all this? Well, yeah. I'm still getting sush. Anyone else for sush? Dad sush? Ma sush? Chris sush? Meg, no sush. Don't even answer, Meg. She's like, ah, oh, I want sush so bad. I'm like, no, no, Meg, no sush, babe. Anyway, I'm gonna go out and get some sush. I'll be at CVS. You know, I have to admit I had my doubts, but you've really surprised me. A romantic dinner on a boat? Right? Who needs a fancy restaurant when you can be wet and kind of dizzy? Oh, Peter, it's just perfect. Well, except for that cruise ship that still can't dock because of COVID. Is the election over yet? We are all pooping in the sink. I'm from Iowa, so I still think this is awesome. Papa John, I'm sorry to bother you, but my pregnant daughter asked that I bring her the worst pizza ever, and yours is that. You think we're worse than Lunchables? Yes. 7-Eleven? Look, my friend, my friend, my friend, it's late. We've done our research. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a real quick hot chocolate. Warm up my bones. The sauce, the bread, the toppings, the way it's cooked, the people cooking it, the way it tastes like the box it comes in, it's really, really the worst. I mean, you even make butter dipping sauce terrible. Well, do you want the butter sauce with the pizza or not? Yeah, no, give me a bunch of everything. <laughs> oh, perfect. All right, sush time for Meg. I know you want some hospital sush. No? Dad, sush? Pepsi Max? Ma? Diet Max? Sush? Chris? Max? Code Red? Sush? No? Well, I'm getting some sush and a Max. I'll be at the cafeteria. Don't get the sush, guys. Oh, I've solved bigger problems than this. Like when I forgot the safe word at that sex party. Aardvark! Ah! Aardwolf! Abacus! Ah! A bandit! Ah! A base! Ah! A bait! No! Ah! Abattoir! Ah! The good news was I had memorized the entire dictionary when I got bored over COVID. The bad news was the safe word was Ziziva. 
a genus of South American weevils, which coincidentally I was forced to keister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard to laugh without farting. Feels like you and me are on the same page about a lot of stuff. We work well together, like the employees at TJ Maxx. Hey, where should I put these? Just throw them on the floor and step on them. That's our founder's motto. TJ Maxx, teach your kids to drive in our empty parking lot. Oh, Guy doesn't speak much English. He's from Quebec. Engineering, I think. But he is insane, Brian. A legend. Guy, hello. Ah, look at him drinking that soda. Classic Guy. Wow. She is the most memorable and endearing baby I've ever seen. Okay, then. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are you, are you almost done? Oh, yeah, no, sorry. I'm just, I'm doing sets. I'm just doing little sets. Oh, cool, cool. Guys, he's doing little sets. Cool. Little cool. sets. Cool, cool. I got you in the opening credits of SNL. Okay, look, here comes Keenan. Oh, look at him playfully hailing a cab. And here you are. Look how cool and hip you look walking by a manhole cover with steam coming out of it. Yep, oh, looks like Keenan's still trying to wave down a cab. Well, I guess that means I can get rid of all my hot grandma merch. I'll just donate it to Goodwill. You know what guilt means, right? Yeah. God, I love fentanyl. You said it, pal. Oh, there you go again. Now you're at the club holding up a one more signal for a drink. Why will nobody stop for Keenan? Oh, but Mikey Day gets a cab first try. Oh, he's sharing it with Keenan. He's sharing it. Okay. Oh. Very stressful opening credits this week. Well, Bruce and Jeffrey, I gotta say, you two have really stepped up to become a couple of great dads. Thank you, Lois. You sound a bit surprised, which seems right for a woman with that haircut, but you're sweet to say so. Yeah, that seems about right for a guy with that haircut. Thank you, Peter. Stewie, did you do this? Jeez, Brian, don't just come barging in here like that. I thought you were campus security. Guy pushed an air conditioner off the parking garage yesterday. Almost hit a public safety officer. By the way, that's between us. They're going door to door. It's pretty serious. I don't care about that. I want to know who wrote Renob on my chest while I was sleeping. Renob? Brian, you read that in the mirror. It's Bona. What? Well, team, I tried meth. All right, guys, looks like I'm really liking meth. Hey, guys, I need money. Like now. Like yesterday. Like now! Hi, Peter. My name is Marcus. Your family has written some letters they'd like to read to you. You liars! To help explain the transition to our futuristic workplace, I'd like to share a video from our investor, the confusingly charismatic WeWork lunatic. Hey, I'm the guy from WeWork. My foremost goal is to facilitate an experiential bandwidth of synergy. Hammock desks, scooter desks, and the world's first desk desk. The only desk that functions as a working desk. I have been the WeWork lunatic. Please don't Google me. Weird Easter this year. Dad, you're back! Oh, we missed you so much. Oh, I missed you guys. Meth was great, but I guess it's bad. I don't know, I'm not really sold on that yet. We're proud of you, Peter. Stewie, you've taken this mini-fridge thing too far. I'm moving this thing out of here. Oh, be careful, Pry. Not a good idea. You don't want to piss off Guy. Yesterday, he crow-hopped a dip tin and knocked a guy out. Oh, wow, did he really? Well, now I'm so very scared of Guy. Ah! Oh ho ho, Guy! Se fout un grand lancé! Je crois qu'il est mort, eh? Boy, everybody's here. Why do you think we're gathering? This isn't about the soiled pants in the toilet, right? Because I hadn't heard about that. Good morning, employees. As some of you can tell by my face, I have some exciting news. But first, a pair of husky sized green pants were found in the men's room, positively destroyed. That's what I hadn't heard about. And why'd you rearrange everything? I just want to find my vitamins. Cupboard four. Now about cupboard seven. Now all white. Right. I'm not. Is it warmer or colder? Cupboard four. Cupboard four. I feel as worthless as any coin smaller than a quarter. Hello. My name is Nickel. Hi, Hi Nickel. Nickel. There was a time when I paid for a ride on a trolley, or a good cigar, or a hand-cranked film of a man tipping his hat and twirling his mustache. But yesterday, I was part of a handful of change at a McDonald's, and the teenage girl threw us out! Just 
Just throw us in the trash with the wrappers in the bag. I go. Ma'am, don't worry. This happens all the time. I'm sure you have your receipt. What? No, I don't have a receipt. Okay, then we're just going to go to the office, call your parents, and send you on your way. Daddy, I just... There are going to be some changes around here. First off, no more lipstick. That's how all this trouble started. Coming this fall from Pixar, coins. We'll keep making things talk until you don't show up. Peter, don't you see? We got to make you the hero again. Wait, say that again. We got to make you the hero again. Yep, yeah, you got weird teeth. Wait, what did you say before about the hero thing? I said we got to make Peter the hero. All right, he does have weird teeth. I just have to show Lois I can still be her hero. That's exactly what I was saying. Good morning. How much are the muscles? $34 a month at Bally's Total Fitness. Peter, why are you behind the fish counter? I got a promotion. Emphasis on the ocean. Fine. What do you got that's fresh? Well, I got a teenage son at home. What a mouth on that kid. And I'm going to take care of it, just like I've been taking care of that egg since high school. Oh, my God, I forgot to pick him up from soccer practice. Hey, do you need me to call your yolks? <laughs> you imbecile um excuse me miss did you just yell at this employee you're damn right i did he has no business being here this man is a member of the stop and shop family he has every business being here you on the other hand will have to go you're banned from the store look you gotta let lois come back please remove the ban she loves this place i'm sorry but i can't do that she yelled at a mentally challenged person and that's unforgivable what i'm not mentally challenged you're not but that's literally the only reason we hired you. Would a mentally challenged person be able to do this? What happened to the open floor plan? Long story. The WeWork guy took our entire budget for the project as a holiday bonus. But he has long hair and speaks confidently about the internet, so he will get about eight more chances. Ah, yes. The WeWork guy. They thought he had created a $47 billion unicorn. Turns out, it was only a two-bit donkey. That's wet paint, by the way. Oh. I need you to turn in your gun and badge. Well, I guess my work here is done. To the Mickey Copter! See, Disney? Nothing here but respectful synergy. <laughs> 